Not too long ago, I saw a patient that had just gotten back in town from a trip. He had suffered from chronic lower back pain and been taking a lot of ibuprofen. That's sold by the brand name Advil. Now you can go and find a list of all the wonderful uses for this drug at the Advil website. And if you want to take the high dose, so you don't have to take so many pills, you can go to your doctor and get a prescription for Motrin or you can get the generic 600 milligram or 800 milligram tablets. Now on a previous visit, I had warned this guy of the risk of taking this drug. So he told me this story. He'd been in his hotel bed watching television when suddenly he felt lightheaded. In the back of his mind was my warning. So instead of calling his cousin or calling the hotel doc, he called 911. That was a good thing too because he made it to the hospital in just enough time for the surgeons to cut him open and stop the bleeding from a perforated ulcer. He was transfused eight units of blood, but he lived to tell me the story. So let's say this guy had been 55 years old. Then a conservative estimate would be that ibuprofen came very close to cutting 20 years off his life. That's if he hadn't called 911. But you might say, hey, there's risk to everything. Auto accidents kill over 30,000 people a year, but I'm not going to stop driving. There are alternatives to driving, like bicycling, but that's probably even more dangerous, so forget about that. But in the case of the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, that's the NSAIDs for short, the risk is clear. Now, according to a report in the New England Journal of Medicine, over 16,000 persons in the United States die every year from perforated ulcers caused by ibuprofen and the other NSAIDs. Now, this is just one of the many lethal side effects of the NSAID drugs. The scary part is that many of the deaths caused by these drugs are missed and not even included in the statistics. Now, they estimate that only 10% of drug-related adverse reactions get reported. I guess it would be hard to get a straight answer from someone if they've been taking ibuprofen or not when they're unconscious or, or they're dead. Just imagine the cost and the suffering these drugs produce for those that have a perforated ulcer and survive. The hospital bills for my patient in the ICU for a week and the major surgery was over $100,000. We take the drug because it's accepted in our culture and it's promoted in the media. There are much safer ways to reduce inflammation and pain. My motto, let food be your medicine. A natural diet with lots of active enzymes will tend to be anti-inflammatory. There are supplements as well like enzymes, plant compounds, some of which have been tested head to head with the drugs and they work just as well. But watch for the double standard. If a supplement kills one person, it's considered dangerous and it's likely to be taken off the market. 16,000 a year, well, that's a different story. So remember, when you reach for a bottle of ibuprofen, it also raises your blood pressure and the risk of a heart attack, as well as causing damage to your liver and or your kidneys. It may even cause your osteoarthritis to progress faster to the total knee replacement. I guess in an indirect way that would solve your knee, your knee pain. Now, studies show that just one pill injures the lining of your gastrointestinal tract. Now on the Advil website there's a panel. You can click on it as a customer and you can share your Advil story. Now I encourage my patient to do this, but for some reason he doesn't think his story will survive the editor. Go figure. If you know the risk and decide to take ibuprofen anyway, at least it's your choice. But if they intentionally hide the risk and recommend that you take the drug, then that's bad. If this information has been helpful for you, please subscribe to the Natural Foods Diet channel by clicking the subscribe button above. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks for watching.